told Brother Chain before we got, we got up here tonight, I said, I didn't get my message from here, but my message was in here. Tonight I'm going to be reading out of the book of Genesis, the 19th chapter. I'm going to start with 12 verses. I'm going to title this message tonight, Two Men Have Come to Tell You. Genesis chapter 19, 12th verse. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any beside his son in laws and sons and thy daughters, and whosoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place? For we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his son in laws, which married his daughters. And they said, Up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seen as one that was mocked unto his sons and his son-in-laws. And the morning arose, and the angels hastened Lot, saying, Rise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest they, thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while... They lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon his upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters. And, and the Lord began merciful, merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And and it came to pass when they had brought him, brought them forth. From abroad, he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plains. Escape to the mountains, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O, oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me saying for my life and I have I and I I cannot escape to the mountain lest some evil take me and I die. Behold now the city is near to flee unto a little one. Oh let me escape thither. Is it, it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him See, I have accepted your concerning this thing also. I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Hast thou escaped thither, I cannot do anything until thou cometh thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zor. And the sun was risen upon the earth, and Lot entered into Zor, and then the Lord rained upon Sodom and on Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the, from the Lord in heaven and overwhelmed those cities and the plains and all that inhabited the cities and that which grew upon the ground. The wife, but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham gathered up early that morning to the place where he stood before the Lord, and he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah. <coughs> and all the lands and all the plains beheld, lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. You may be seated. I'm here tonight to tell you there's two men here today. They come to tell you. You need to stay in Sodom and Gomorrah. 
You can stay in a bad city. Or you can stay in a bad way in this world today. Or you can go forward and not look back. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you can go forward and not look back. Amen. But I'll tell you Amen. what, tonight God's given somebody here two chances today. Amen. God come here today to tell you that you got a chance yet. Yeah. You can give your heart and life to Jesus Christ Amen. and leave old Sodom and Gomorrah behind you. Yeah. You can leave the old world behind you. You can stay back and let that go. You can the drugs and the alcohol and all the things that are in your life, you can leave those behind you. You can get start a new life today. Amen. I'll tell you what tonight, you can come down to an old altar and you can take a journey away from old Sodom. Yeah. I'll tell you what tonight, Amen. we need some men and women to show people there's another way. We can take them away from the old Sodom and Gomorrah Amen. and the old Amen. bad places Amen. and take them to a new place. Where they can give up the old life. I tell you what, if you're sick of your old life and you're tired and you wore out and the old devil's tore you down tonight, I tell you what, there's only one way. Amen. And that's through Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You get down upon an old altar and you say, God, I'm sorry. Yep. God, I've, you know, I've done wrong. Lord, the old devil's took everything away from me. He's tore my whole life down. I'm here tonight to tell you there's only one way. You're going to have to go forward tonight. Amen. 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 There's no going back. If you want to go back tonight, you go back to Sodom, you're going to be destroyed. I tell you what, right. you can go back there and you can live a life of sin. You can live in the drugs and the alcohol right. and the sin. I tell you what, it's going to take you farther than you ever wanted to go. That's right. Right. It's going to take things away from you that you didn't know right. that you could lose. Amen. You, if you lost things in your life tonight, I tell you what, you can come back and start to restore things. Yeah, man. Man. Right. 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 I'm tired of the life I'm living. Amen. I'm tired of what I'm going through tonight. I tell you what tonight. <coughs> we need some, we need some men of God. <coughs> Excuse me. We need some men of God not to be afraid to get up behind an old altar. Amen. Behind an old bullpen and say, There's hell, there's fire, there's brimstone coming. That's right. I tell you what tonight, we're in a town here tonight. It ain't much better than Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. I tell you what, you look all around you tonight, there's sin on every corner. Yeah. There's, you can't even, you can't go, when I was a young kid, you could go to a gas station and buy gas and there wasn't a liquor store there. Man. Yeah. You can't find a gas station today, there ain't a liquor store. Yeah. I tell you what, this whole world's falling apart when they're, we're talking. Like Shane's preaching this morning, he was talking about all the different separations, how <coughs> They're trying to tear America down today. These two men I listened to on the radio and I, they were talking about a circular firing squad. And that's what we've, we've become as a world today. We're all trying to tear each other down. Right. Right. We're trying to divide each other. We're trying to tear each other apart. We need to get away from that and get away from the old Sodom and Gomorrah. And we need some people Amen. to start telling them about hellfire. Right. And if you don't change your life tonight, if you don't get down on an old altar and give your heart to God tonight, oh. it may be too late. Amen. Right. I'll tell you what tonight, you're going to have to give it to God tonight and say, God, I'm tired of what I'm going through. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what, I'm tired of what, what my life has become. Amen. I'll tell you what, I'm tired. If you're tired tonight, just come on down to no altar tonight and just give your heart and life to Jesus Christ tonight. Amen. I tell you what, Lord. I tell you what, we need some men and women of God to start praying tonight for some people. Amen. There's people in this house tonight under conviction. Amen. I know that. Amen. And I tell you what, we need some people to start praying tonight. So God, you bring the old hellfire and bring strong down upon them and touch their hearts and lives tonight. I tell you what, you can hide, you can run, you can do whatever you want. But I tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God to get down on their knees and say, God, I know there's a fire, fire tonight that's coming. There's hell and fire going to come down upon this old world if we don't get people saved. Yep. That's right. But I tell you what, tonight we got to give it all to God and say, God, right. just bring that old fire down upon our house. Bring that old fire down upon the old church where the old man of God will get a little bit of fire in his belly, build up a little fire and tell them, they don't give their heart and life to Jesus. Because he sent two men to tell you. He brought old Brother Shane down here this morning. He 
brought forth a message. He brought another young man of God right here down to an old altar. I'll tell you what tonight. We need some men and women of God to get on fire for God. Right. We need some men and women to get on fire and say, God, I want to be saved tonight. Uh, we need a conviction power of God to come down for our house. Right. I'll tell you what, it may be somebody out on the internet. I don't know. But somebody tonight needs God. That's right. And I can feel it in my heart. I've been burdened all week. I listened to a message and I caught a glimpse of this right here in it. And the old preacher said, we need help fire and brimstone. That's right. I'll tell you what, today we've got a lot of cowards behind the pulpit today. They're right. trying to get up and say right. that there's a hell to shun. That there's a heaven to gain. I'll tell you what, tonight, That's right. we need men and women of God tonight to get up and say, the old King James. That's right. We need to have them get up there and tell them about the old book and tell them about the old past. I preached a message years ago down in a little church at Rockersville, and I said, I got to talking about these old cows, and anybody that's been around those cows, you can go out there in an old pasture, and that old pasture's been there for years, and them old cows will have a past, and we're out where all them old cows walk. I tell you what, we need to get back on that old path. That's right. We need to get back on that old cow path. I'll tell you what, they'll just make an old bee line out across the field. They got 100 acres to walk in, but they're walking that straight line back to where they're going. Right. And I'll tell you what, tonight we need some men and women of God to get back on that old path. Get back in the old book and say, God, I love this old book. Amen. I'll tell you what, this old book I got here is wore out. Brother Shane this morning, I had a chunk to where I have a page, so I had to get my other Bible out, and I wrote the two words that was ripped out of the little chunk down below it, so I know what two words to use if I needed to use that. Amen. Amen. <coughs> but it's an old path, and I'll tell you what, tonight, I think when old Law was heading out across there, he was heading for Abraham. I'll tell you what, no Abraham looked out across there when he seen that a burden. I believe that's a foretell of the, the sights of hell. When the smoke was arising, the old Amen. brimstone, I bet it didn't smell very good. The old brimstone, when it burns, it's kind of an old sulfur smell. And I right. tell you what, if you don't know what sulfur smell, smells like, get you some rotten eggs. Right. It's bad. And I tell you what, what's going on in this world today is a bunch of rotten eggs. And I tell you, tonight, we need some men and women of God to get down on their knees and get back on the old paths and say, I'm not afraid to stand up for my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I tell you what, today I got a message from my boy, and I tell you what, he called me today. And then this was a blessing to me. He went to another church, and he wasn't going with the man he'd been going with. A young young boy that he runs around hunts with invited him to his church. That's a blessing to me. God answered Woo! the prayers for me. I tell you Amen. what, tonight. Amen. Oh, man. Tell you what God's doing. Amen. Amen. Tell you what I can tell you. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, sometimes we need to spend a little time with God. Amen. Right. I tell you what, today we spent some time with God. Brother Shane, this Amen. morning you give that message. Uh, that was straight from the throne of God. And that's what we need, some more messages from the throne of God. That's what we need, men and women, to get close to God and give the message we need to give. I tell you what, tonight, we're just going to have to get back on that old path and not turn around because part of us said we're not careful. But we're going away from Sodom and Gomorrah. The old devil's going to trick us into turning around and going right. Yeah. And what happened to old Lot's wife when she turned her around and looked the wrong way? He turned her into a pillar of salt. That's right. I'll tell you what tonight, he, no matter how good you think you're doing, you can't do it by yourself. That's right. That's right. Amen. You can't do it by yourself. That's right. You can go to any kind of meetings you want to go to. You can go to any kind of things you want to go to, but unless you go to an old altar and start your recovery there, Man. you're yep. never going to succeed. Until right. 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 you get down on your old knees and say, God, I want to start with you. Amen. 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 Yep. You know, we can worry about getting cleaned up to go to church. God don't care. Amen. Amen. God only cares about you coming in here and getting cleaned up. Amen. You want to get your life cleaned up. You want to get things started on the right track. You start with God. Amen. Right. I'll tell you what, all, all that AA stuff and stuff, probably good. Back in 1989 or 1990, I was spent 30 days in Sigma House in Springfield, Missouri. 
the first counselor I went into and saved my house. He set me down in there, and you know, you'd have to sit and talk to a counselor. And he said, you got to find out what your higher power is. He said, I don't believe in God, so mine's an ashtray. Now I look back on my life. That poor man. Amen. Amen. He died a few years later, and I say he probably went and died in the devil's hell. Amen. Because I don't know that he ever changed his way. And I tell you what, if you're not careful today, you put your faith in the wrong thing. That's right. Amen. You put your faith in the wrong thing, and if you're not careful, you're going back to Sodom. That's right. That's right. You're going to go and live in filth and sin. My brother James had a saying. He said, if you go feed, eat with the pigs, you're going to smell like the pigs. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to go back and you're going to live in the sin and live in the lifestyle you're living in, you're going to smell like the pigs. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if you get down here on your knees and give it your heart and life to Jesus Christ, he can take that away from you. Amen. He can wash you from the inside. He can take the old rod away from you. Yeah. He can clean you up. He can make you a different person. Amen. But it's up to you tonight whether you want to spend eternity in hell. Because God sent you two men today to talk to you. That's right. He sent two men to give you a message. Amen. And both messages was about getting it right. That's right. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Amen. Both messages. Brother Shane, I've carried this message all week in my heart. Amen. I've carried it all week. God said, you got to go give that message. And when Brother Shane got up this morning and started talking about Lot, I thought maybe I ought to go get that myself. And I sat down at the kitchen table and sat down there and read my Bible. And I started reading over on something else. And God said, I told you to get up there and preach that message. Amen. Amen. He said, I told you. I'm not telling you again. I just shut the whole book. I said, God, if that's what you want, it's what I'll do. I don't know what you want me to preach on that deal. Old Law didn't have the greatest testimony. Amen. Right. Sometimes Brother Gary didn't have the greatest testimony. Amen. Brother Gary's trying his hardest to work to repair his testimony. I tell you what, tonight, your testimony ain't quite what it needs to be tonight. God's giving you a chance to work on your testimony. Amen. God's giving you a chance to be a better person. That's right. God's giving you a chance to start repairing your life. Amen. Right. Start repairing your relationships in your life. There's things that went on in your life that have been bad. God can take the bad and make good. Amen. Amen. You know, I tell you what, tonight, God's here to move. And tonight, that's what God's giving me tonight. It was time to two men's come to tell you it's time to go the right way. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's time to go the right way. Amen. You've been going the wrong way too long. <laughs> you can keep going the wrong way if you want to die and go to hell. Right. But you've had two men today tell you there's only one way and that's Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It's going to be kind of a short message tonight. That's what God gives you. Good word, brother. Amen. We're going to have a song Amen. Amen. today. I want to tell you what tonight is. If you're struggling with your life, you're struggling with things going on, you don't know Christ and your personal Savior, it'll be a good time to come to an old altar. So I'll tell you what, it'll be a good night. Just come down and give your life to Jesus Christ and say, I'm sorry for what I'm doing.